Welcome to Lesson 9, Solid Surface and Depth Check of the SDS2 Getting Started series. I'm going to begin with the solids. Let's look at the View drop-down list where we can see that we have a option to toggle the to stick to solid, change all to stick, change all to solid opaque, transparent, and transparent main for all the members. Notice the shortcut keys on the right side here. You also can select individual members and change them to stick, solid opaque, transparent, and transparent main. Let's begin by using the shortcut key to change all the members to solid, and then again all back to stick. I'm going to zoom into this area here, use a crossing, and then I'm going to use the right click option to change the members to a solid opaque. Now I need to discuss a little bit about a member. I'm going to go ahead and change this member here to stick. Now with the member you have this stick form. On a member, when I change this member to solid, you have on this member main material and you have your sub material such as your gusset and your clip angles. Now within SDS2, what some companies as mentioned earlier call an assembly, we will call them members. Now when I place my mouse on top of a member, all the material that is attached to that member when you're in solid form will become highlighted with this wire outline. Another thing is if I select a member I can also see all the material that's attached to the member. Now again, like I mentioned earlier, you have the stick, you have the main material, and then you have your sub-materials that are on this particular member. Now, if I go ahead and I right click on top and I go into a select or edit other, you'll notice that I have the material and this is the main material that's on B underscore 14 and then we have the member as I mentioned earlier everything is highlighted right here. You can also use your filters if I want to go ahead and select for example material now I'm actually selecting the main material. Now one thing I would like to mention is when I'm back here using my default filter if I double click you'll notice that the member window opens. This is because the system has to choose between which edit. Am I going to open the main material or am I going to open the member? Well, the member is the higher of the two hierarchies. Not the case when I'm on top of one of the sub-materials other than a main material. So when I come in here and I double click on this we can see that it opens up the material edit. So now that we know the difference between a main material and the submaterial or parts on a member, I'm going to come in here and select this column, right click, and then set it to a solid transparent main. In which case, all the main material on this column will be transparent. Unlike when I go through and I select this and change this to a solid transparent, which changes all the material to transparent on this particular column. Now of course you can come in here and change this to stick, makes it easy to view, to go ahead and rotate around. I can set this member here to a solid transparent main and I can see through all of that data. Now back in my selection I'm going to change this to solid opaque when I place my mouse on top of an object you can see it's highlighted like I mentioned earlier of course the member highlights all the material on the member when I right click and I go through my select or edit other notice how the system is going through everything under that mouse whatever item is underneath it I can see it and I can select it or edit it so for example I can come in here and select the material for the C1 now filters if I go into my filters, I can come in here and say, no, I just want to select material, locate my mouse in that same position. Now all I'm going to see is the materials. On to surface and depth check. Let's go in here to our brace and use this as my example. Now, I'm going to come in here and select a surface. Now one thing about SDS2 is that these parts are solid pieces. If I 
go up to my icons, you can see that this is my surface command. Underneath the navigation drop down menu, you can see you have a snap to surface, far side surface, and adjacent surface. And if I hold down my control, I can also expose that surface command in the select items mode, which is the one I'm going to use. So while holding down my control key, I'm going to place my mouse on the top surface of this particular uh, plate, this gusset plate. Hit that middle surface button, and now I've gone to the top surface of this particular gusset plate. We can also see my elevation is now at 114.2 and 7 8 So what happens when I hit that surface, it moves my working plane to that particular top surface. Let's go ahead and rotate around a little bit. I can go in here and obviously surface to this clip angle, moves me to the surface of that clip angle. I can come back up here and move to the surface of this gusset plate again. Now I'm currently on the surface of that gusset plate. That's where my working plane is. Now I'm going to open up depth check. Depth check can be activated from this icon up here on the toolbar menu or using something called display options which we saw earlier. Now in display options we can see that we have this depth checking. I can go ahead and turn depth checking on and off as I mentioned earlier. I want to come in here and change. Now from this surface we are going to look into the screen. I'm going to change this from three feet to one inch. Now looking from the surface out or towards us in the screen I'm going to change this to one inch as well select the apply. So now from this surface I'm seeing one inch out and one inch in. Let's go ahead and change this to look in to be zero. Go ahead and apply. And we can see right now as I go to this particular piece and rotate around that now we are going to be zero inches into the screen and one inch out. So we're basically right on the top surface. Let's just go ahead and invert these numbers here. I'm going to set zero out. There you go. So now as I come through here and I go to the surface of this piece, one thing you will notice is that depth check is going to be changed to in three and out zero. I'm going to hit apply and now we can see into the screen three inches and out of the screen zero. Now again I'm just using zero as an example here but I can go ahead and modify this if I want to go ahead and look out three inches and look 12 inches into the screen. So now we've just taken a closer look at two commands that you'll be using quite often which is the surface command and the depth check command.